Hello everyone, my name is Larseth and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and Luck of the Irish um, playthrough, or our Luck of the Irish playthrough rather. And in this episode, we will probably start, oh typical, Noble Families Feud. So side with one family, let them fight out. Okay, so Noble Families rise up in Shetland. I don't really want to send an army over there, so... Tried to settle the issue, annoyingly. Um, we are going to move our army over to, or our main force at least. Oh, rigorous researchers. 40 in each monarch power. That's brilliant. Yeah, we're going to move our main army over to the New World. And as a result, um, wow, we're going to use it. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Misclick. There we go. We're going to use this new army. That is not what I wanted you to do. Why, 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 why are you being so stupid? Right, you load up. You come over here. Stupid. Um, so yeah, we're going to start going to war with some of the, the tribal nations and sort of try and expand a bit more rapidly. Um, we can get our first trade idea. Global trade power. And that gives us, in turn, rebel support efficiency. Not that we're probably going to be using that all that much. Right. Our first wave of troops is almost there. And we'll send them back to go and get this, uh, our last, our last amount. I could really, how much, um, ooh, misclick. Uh, we could build another four uh, cogs. Would it be better off by uh, building trade ships, though? Probably. I think it probably would. Um, so we are going to do just that. Probably not straight away, though. Um, actually, no, we will do it. Two, three, four. So let's build them. Make them join the fleet. And then we'll also we'll get some money off these guys once we uh, conquer them. Do we actually get the Tribal Conquest CB? Oh, I think we do. That's the end for... Yeah, exploration. Where's our other troops? Come on. Where are you? Oh. Didn't actually attach them. Silly me. How are our colonies down here doing? Guantanamo is not too far away. Be nice if we got that event, the papal bull, for uh, the Caribbean, because being uh, obviously Castile is quite a big, uh, quite a big. Uh, what's the word? Uh, Catholic country, and they never ever become anything else than Catholic. Um, well. I mean, they could, obviously, but I've never seen them. So that would be, uh, like, helpful. I imagine they wouldn't want to annoy the Pope too much. So, uh, who are they allied with? The Abenaki. They are all, are all primitives, though, so that shouldn't be too hard to uh, wipe them out. Let's bring back our diplomat, and then we'll, we will uh, declare war. Come yeah, on, there we go. And where do we want you to go? Probably to select a mission, protect trade in the North Sea. Yay! I mean, eventually we'll be needing to send some 
you know, people over to divert trade from uh, hmm, actually we're going to send our mer get our merchant and send him up here transfer trade power from Champagne yeah we'll eventually need to get some trade ships over here and start steering trade up through the North Sea rather than into the English Channel. Right. Let's declare war. Slow sh show superiority. Smash. Game over. And we'll use our uh, cogs to uh, blockade support. Cardinal Minister. One of the Pope's cardinals in Tyrone has proven to be skilled administrator and already proves useful, provides useful advice to the Earl. At this point, making him a minister in our government would almost only be only a formality, but an important formality nonetheless, since he may grow more powerful yet. Having a cardinal in our service would certainly lend us credibility with the Pope and strengthen the sentiment that Tyrone is a Catholic nation first and foremost. Um... I think I'd rather have prestige, actually, than those things. Peace offer from... Po oh, okay. No. I was thinking, who are we getting the notification from? It's from Poetan, and yeah. We don't need them. We are making a decent amount of money, though, now. Or rather, we were. I swear it said two duck at something. I'm guessing, actually, that was from the... Uh, and we've just lost the prestige we just earned. Um, I'm guessing that was from looting the extra money. And that's quite interesting because Denmark have just laid came, claim to Brandenburg. How old's the heir? Thor 43. No, their leader, sorry, is 43. Barakoa loses, Guantanamo gains. Mm. Makes one finished faster, I guess. It's not too bad. Come on. Take over. Tax new Tyrone. Fabulous. So, let's send our colonist uh, back. Where, we, where do we want to send him? Camagüey. I, th I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Um. And then we'll peace out these guys. We're going to take it, take their money. Awesome. Declare war. So who's in this? The Iroquois and the Susquehannock. So where are the Iroquois there? Oh, let's... Uh, actually, we probably haven't seen them yet. They're probably in this area somewhere, I'm guessing. I wonder if we can see them in the ledger, see how many troops they've got. I, sh I don't think I will be able to, though, because I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, no. I think it's fine, though. Oh, that's not ideal. We've just traded a, uh, a good ruler for a absolutely god-awful one. Does he have an heir yet? He's 26, but we want to be shot of him. So, I'm going to recruit him as a general. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Recruiting ruler. And he's actually pretty good. So... I'm going to bring him back, swap him over, and put him in control, and then pop him back there. Uh, 
Let's take on this army. We should be fine. Easy peasy. I always forget how just how easy it is to kill a lot of these uh, native um, nations just because, you know. Hmm. I'm slowly starting to be converted. That's not ideal. Um, yeah, I always forget how easy it is to kill a lot of these native natives. Just purely because of the tech difference. Is our other ruler... No, he's not a uh, conquistador, I don't think. No, he's just a general. Hmm... I wonder where the other armies are. are. They okay? They're all the way up there. They could go by land. Turn around. Maybe I underestimated just how many troops they would have. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to just go for the prestige, actually. Wow, they've managed to get together a decent amount of troops. Probably won't help them, though, I imagine. See, the tech difference just... Yeah, they don't stand a chance half the time. Uh, good. Canadia are taking back their, their stuff, which is brilliant. Bayamo, that's another one finished. So we're going to go over to Moron now. Uh, awesome. What a brilliant name. Um, so essentially I get a choice between money or loyalty. So I'm going to take that and then do that. So essentially they paid for their own loyalty, which is fine by me. Ah, we got discipline, which will make the winning these battles just even easier. What else can we do? Peacock. Iroquois. No, they're not going to... They're not going to... Uh, they're not going to... Um, bow down. Then they will die. Because I don't have a conquistador, uh, I can't go into any of this land just yet. So I essentially have to wait for them to come to me, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, I could recruit one, but I don't really want to, one, go over the limit uh, for military advisors. But also, I don't really want to spend the monarch points. Fantastic news. Yearly corruption, trade efficiency. What could be better? They're sending us peak, uh, they're sending us peace requests, but... I am not going to uh, be giving in to them anytime soon. Hmm. I could demand diplomatic power. Maybe. Still only... Still only 50... Diplo power. I'd like to be able to give them... See, they need... Oh, that's annoying. 
they need to have a bit more influence before I could do the other stuff, which gets them even more influence. Brilliant. That's what I needed. Another merchant. So. I will pop him. Where do I want him? I want him in the Caribbean. Transfer trade power. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had an... Another merchant. Maybe he's one that's a bonus one that is only here for a little while. I assume. Colonize Havana. Where's Havana? It's this one here. I will do that next, in which case. After Barracoa is done. Stack wipes for days. What I'll do is I'll retreat every time because hopefully they'll be tricked into thinking, ooh, the war goal's unguarded. And they'll send all their troops over there. And then they will lose. Ah. Hmm. So now we have an issue. This war's going to be over soon. However... Nation of England, your faithful allies, requesting you come to their aid in the French reconquest of Co against France. It's allied with Bohemia, Genoa. So who are F England allied with? Me and Milan. So they're going to lose this unless we help them. Sorry. Oh, that's got a sting. <laughs> oh dear, poor England. So now that that's done, I can, well, I will start building a spy network in England, I think. Let's bring this guy back from France so we can keep an eye on this peace deal. We're very close, only, it's only like maybe one more tick now, I think. And they'll give us what we want. Or a few more, at least. Come on. Why did that suddenly drop? Have they invaded somewhere? No. Oh, there's the Iroquois. They still will get me what I want. God, I really am far ahead on uh, admin tech. Which means I can improve some more uh, provinces. Let's increase Sligo. And what about Canort? How much is Canort making? That should do. Give us a little bit more money. I really want them to peace out, though. They're taking their sweet time about it. What's changing? Hmm. They're holding on for dear life. Maybe now? Yes. So, I'm actually going to use my... I'm going to build a spy network against the Iroquois, and I'm going to steal their map, I think. Tyrone gets aid natives. I'm going to aid natives, because that will give me more of that... Uh, basically, it gives you colonial enthusiasm again, which is great. I wonder if we're getting any sort of... Uh, see, I thought that we would get, like, a bonus for being, like, uh, basically more developed, more advanced technologically over the Iroquois, but I guess we don't. So we just got to wait quite a while until we get a 60, and then we'll steal a map for however big the area is. I assume it'll be mostly this area here. 
Right, Barracoa is done. And now on to Havana, which is a 500 native, so we'll send a one stack over there. Oh, and then once... Actually, how many we got? We got one, two, three, four. As soon as Camagüey, I think that's how you pronounce it. That should be like my, my motto. I think this is how you pronounce it. As soon as that's done, we'll have our third colonial nation. And that will certainly be done in the next episode. Let me just uh, pop this navy there and mothball them. But yeah, I think we're going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll hopefully... Uh, well, we will get our third colony. And what else do I think we'll do? We will probably... Well... New Tyrone are going to get a new uh, a new con uh, new province, and yeah, we'll just continue expanding through our colonization, and also see what we can do to make England suffer. I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.